Stan Jubalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I am here to describe for you uh, an antenna uh, tuning device that I heard about by email from a viewer. And I was quite skeptical at first uh, about uh, something like this actually being able to work uh, and whether or not it might actually be some kind of a trick, some kind of a gimmick, some kind, well, some kind of a fraud. I, 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 I wondered about that. It proves my, my wonders were with, without bounds. Are without grounds, <laughs> no pun intended. Absolutely groundless. This is a very interesting and very effective device as reviewed in the March 2016 issue of QST magazine, pages 52 and 53. Uh, it's called the EFHW8010 end fed half wave 80 through 10 meters is what that stands for. And here's the box. And what it basically is is it's an un un, an unbalanced to unbalanced transformer. And that's really all it is. It has two terminals at the end one for the antenna which is supplied number 18 gauge 130 feet of wire and then you need to supply the ground rod and radials if you desire and the coaxial cable 52 ohms which leads to your shack I have just uh, illustrated here a suggested arrangement this is the way I would do it at my QTH, although this ground here slopes somewhat, if I were to put this box down by the mailbox, run the coax into the shack, probably about a hundred feet worth, or maybe eighty feet worth of coax, I've got it all, I've already got the coax, put a support mast up high enough so that a hundred and thirty feet of wire would fit down to some far end support, like a maybe a 10-foot wooden stake pounded into the ground or uh, possibly even a fence post or something like that as long as it's insulated from it if it's metallic so this far end is free it's not grounded this goes to one of the tr of the little lugs on the box and this is in fact the unit right here this is the beastie, the un-un. It is manufactured by a company called My Antennas in Zephyr Hills, Florida. You can reach their website by going to myantennas.com and uh, they have several products this particular little outfit what this thing does is it takes an a 130 foot wire which would be a half wavelength on the 80 meter amateur band the uh, 3.5 megahertz band and then uh, it matches the purely resistive very high impedance of that roughly more or less to 52 ohms for a coaxial feed line the ground rod need not uh, it not be a very elaborate ground you don't need to have a whole lot of radials or anything it should be de a decent ground but it de needn't be terrific because this radiation resistance here is so high that the loss would be relatively low even with a relatively lossy ground that's the theory anyway. So it would be resonant at 
megahertz and all integral harmonics thereof wherever it's a half wavelength a wavelength a wavelength and a half two wavelengths two and a half wavelength etc so it should work on the 3.5 7 we had 3.5 10.5 megahertz that's close to the 10 megahertz band but it isn't it isn't right on um, then uh, three and a half more megahertz would be 14 megahertz it should also work at 17.5 megahertz and it should also work well just keep on adding 3.5 over and over again and you'll get integral harmonics integral multiples of the frequency at which this antenna is one half wave resonant and so you should see a purely resistive very high impedance at all of those frequencies and they all uh, happen to fall a at least most of them very close to the ham radio bands again read this product review in March 2016 QST pages 52 and 53 uh, as of the review the price tag for this thing was 150 bucks now I was skeptical that this thing would would work uh, it the theory seemed a little bit a little bit tenuous to me but uh, the more I studied it the more I realized it it should provide a reasonably good match on all of these frequencies and indeed with the exception of the 10 megahertz band the 30 meter band it proved to work very well in that respect on this band the standing wave ratio as tested at ARRL headquarters was on the order of 4 to 1 but on all the other bands the SWR was well under 2 to 1 perfectly acceptable every bit as good as a perfect match in terms of loss it again uh, the reviewer is a very well-known amateur radio operator and uh, he said thumbs up this is a perfectly legitimate way and in fact the reason I'm making this video is that for 150 bucks and my QTH and the horrendous noise that I suffer with my close to the house vertical antenna I might this winter yet give this uh, little unit a shot I'm not sure yet whether I'm gonna have the physical energy and stamina because winter has arrived and getting this central support mast it would be the big bugaboo I could I suppose I could use a, a neighbor's tree but I'm not sure the neighbor would especially care for that well actually it's my tree but the neighbor thinks it's on her property which is fine because then she's responsible for its maintenance haha <laughs> so, so that's the dope uh, on this little thing called the EFHW N fed um, half wave I was gonna say horizontal wire but half wave 8010 and there are others there's the 4010 uh, which is half as long 65 feet and uh, but this little box is the key it's just like a ballon except unbalanced in unbalanced out and a very high impedance transfer ratio so read all about it and uh, thanks to my viewer for bringing this to my attention uh, it's almost as good as an automatic antenna tuner but nowhere near as electronically fragile so the slightest little electrostatic charge on this antenna would not destroy this device whereas it might destroy an automatic antenna tuner like the one I had and was destroyed by a little electrostatic discharge. Stan Jubilisco W1GV now signing off saying 73 and on this antenna or on any other type of antenna in my native fist so long
translating into da 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 da.